Jesus. It's Friday morning inspiration. Good morning all my friends and loved ones. FB family. We have to give God some praise today. We want to thank him and glorify him. Good morning. Good morning my lovely cousin Margie Edge. Good morning. Pastor Leslie Faye. Thank you for watching. Every day we got to give God honor, glory, and praise. Every day. So we want to thank God for another wonderful day. Just waking us up and having us here in the land of the living still. We praise Him. We glorify Him. We honor Him. We thank Him. And then we ask God to forgive us for our sins. We humbly come before our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And we ask God to bless us all today. Protect us, keep us, keep us safe. Keep us from all harm and evil. Keep us from theft and robbery. Keep us from abuse and crime. Protect us all, Lord, wherever we might go. We know that we have your angels of mercy and love and protection with us. As your scripture said, you will give your angels charge over us to keep us in all of our ways. And they will bear us up in their hands lest we dash a foot against a stone. So we're trusting you today. Again, today, thank you so much. Praise and glorify your name. Just going to read a few, a few couple of scriptures. But we should follow Jesus every single day. We just do something different every day. So, on as far, as far as our morning inspiration, Friday morning. But it's just a reminder, stay with God. Please, keep him, keep him, keep him. Because he's going to keep us. We read Psalm 71. This scripture covers so much of everything. If you read it, it covers so much of everything. In thee, O Lord, do I put my trust. Let me never be put to confusion. Deliver me in thy righteousness and cause me to escape. Escape. Incline thy ear unto me and save me. Be thou my strong habitation whereunto I may continually resort. But thou hast given commandments to save me. For thou art my rock and my fortress. Deliver me, O oh my God, out of the hand of the wicked, out of the hand of the unrighteous and cruel man. For thou art my hope, O oh Lord God, thou art my trust from my youth. By thee have I been holding up from the womb. 
Thou art he that took me out of my mother's bowels. My praise shall be continually of thee. I am as a wonder unto many, but thou art my strong refuge. Let my mouth be filled with thy praise and with thy honor all the day. Cast me not off at the time of old age. Forsake me not when my strength faileth. For my enemies speak against me, and they that lay wait for my soul take counsel together, saying, God hath forsaken him, persecute and take him, for there is none to deliver him. O oh God, be not far from me. O oh my God, make haste for my help. Let them be confounded and consumed that are adversaries to my soul. Let them be covered with reproach and dishonor that seek my hurt. But I will hope continually, and I will yet praise thee more and more. My mouth shall show forth thy righteousness and thy salvation all the day, for I know not the numbers thereof. I will go in the strength of the Lord God. I will make mention of thy righteousness, even of thine only. O oh God, thou hast taught me from my youth, and hitherto have I declared thy wondrous works. Now also when I am old and gray-headed, O oh God, forsake me not until I have showed thy strength unto this generation and thy power to everyone that is to come. Thy righteousness also, O oh God, is very high. Who has done great things, O oh God, who is like unto thee? Thou which hast showed me great and sore troubles shall quicken me again and bring me up again from the depths of the earth. Thou shalt increase my greatness and comfort me on every side. I will also praise thee with psaltery, even thy truth, O oh my God, unto thee will I sing with the harp, O oh, thou Holy One of Israel. My lips shall greatly rejoice when I sing unto thee, and my soul which thou hast redeemed. My tongue also shall talk of thy righteousness all the day long, for they are confounded, for they are brought unto shame, shame that seek my hurt. That's Psalm 71. That's a prayer all by itself. God's going to take care of us, keep us, protect us from the enemy. He's going to lift us up. And then I want to go to another another prayer in the scripture this just confirms that if we're in the right place and if we follow Jesus he definitely is going to take good care of us at all times Psalms 91 he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadows of the almighty I will say of the Lord he is my refuge and my fortress my God, in him will I trust. Surely he will deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his wings, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth is thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the that fly by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, Neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against the stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder. The young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I... And then my 
my screen changed, but we're going to keep letting it go because now that's about to get stayed prayed up. But we're going to leave it like that. I'm going to finish this scripture. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him with long life. I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Oh, saints, friends, family, people, we pray that God cover our doors, protect us from any evil entering any place where we reside, even the windows, the doors, any location that we are, that God protect us from any evil spirits and just protect us as we travel through wherever we have to go and when we're going out, that he protect us as we travel. Rebuke the enemy right now in the name of Jesus and all his evil devices. We ask God to kill any evil spirit that has a plan to intend to attack God's children today. We ask God to kill that spirit and rebuke it right now and stop it right now. Protect our loved ones, our families, wherever they might be. Sometimes we are not all together in the same place where we can see each other. But we know that God can see us and protect us all over this land all at the same time. And we just thank you, God, today and praise you, God, for all the blessings that you bestow on us today. Just giving God honor, glory, and praise this morning, y'all. Every single day. And we pray for God to touch, heal, where the healing needs to be, whether it'll be immediate miracle healing or it's a slow healing, whatever it is, progressive. We ask God to continue that healing, to continue to heal all of us that need healing in Jesus' name, whether it be in the body, whether it be the mind, whether it be in the heart, we need to be healed. And we want you to know that with all that's going on today, the oh, with God, you still can be happy. You still can have joy. We do. We have it. So, this is Friday morning inspiration. Follow Jesus. And that screen says, stay prayed up, be blessed up, in Jesus' name. Well, this is the weekend, too. So keep that prayer going today. Be blessed. Keep it going. And do it in the name of Jesus. And for those that don't have God, please come and believe God today. Believe in Jesus and accept him in your life. Because we all need him. 24-7 and I would like to say to the young person that I texted by my sake and I don't know if they might be listening to inform them that we were having a table of prayer yesterday and it was the wrong person and we asked God to bless them too because we're not here to uh, attack anybody's religion and what they think and how they feel because it's their choice. But they texted me back and said, well, I'm an atheist. And I said, well, God bless you. I texted them back and said, God bless you. I was the wrong number. I p apparently the number had changed. And they texted me back and said, but, but I'm an atheist. And I said, well, I still want God to bless you because God loves you still. So it might have been a mistake. But that response I got back. You never know. You just never know. People need to know that they are loved by God, no matter who you are, what you believe, what you do, what you don't believe, where you've been, where you're going, what you've done, whether you you feel like you're too, too, too low down for God to love you, but that's when God will pick you up and turn you around. And like they say, he'll put you on a solid ground and he'll love you. He'll dust you off. And guess what? We all still have equal opportunity in God. It's like the prodigal son. The good son was getting blessed the whole time when the good when the one that went away and got lost and came back. Well, they even glorified the Lord and blessed him even the more. God wants us to keep coming into his kingdom. 
So whatever you believe today, know that God loves you. Whatever you are thinking or feeling, know that he cares. So whoever you with, we're still asking you to come to God. We'll never stop doing that. Because he's the one, the only one. And in these times, we need to have God. We ask you to have a blessed, blessed, blessed today, Friday, and a blessed weekend. Love you with the love of Jesus Christ. Remember, you can only get to God through Jesus. You can't, you can't do it any other way. We got to go through Jesus Christ, and we have to believe that He is the Son of God. And we have to believe that God gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And that's the only way to get to God. Well, I love you. God bless you. And once again, thank you. Love you, Cousin Margie. Great woman of God. And I love you, Pastor Leslie Faye. Thank you for tuning in. And there's somebody else looking. I don't know who it is, but thank you. I love you. Irene, the Wright family, the Washington family, and everybody else. We love you. Have a blessed day. God's willing. Lord wakes me up tomorrow morning. I'll be on the job again. <laughs> to talk about being stayed, prayed up, be blessed up in the name of Jesus. To believe that weekend prayer. Have a blessed day.